All right, guys. So the last challenge should be completed by now. How did you do? Did you get 21 words in your dictation? 16 words in the first sentence, five words in the second sentence. Let's listen once more. We will listen one more time. When I was younger, I picked up the ball and I fell in love with it and I would study it. Yeah, easy, right? That's easy stuff. So that's the dictation. But I asked you another question. In her second sentence, why didn't she use simple past? And of course, you know the answers. So let's go to the answers. They're right here. When I was younger, I picked up the ball and I fell in love with it and I would study it. When I was younger, I picked up the ball and I fell in love with it and I would study it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm showing you too much there. Okay. Yeah. These are the answers. So let's talk about the pronunciation. When I was younger, no problem. When I was younger, and you can put a comma here. Some people did. That's fine. I picked up the ball. I picked up, picked up the ball. I picked up the ball. In this case, it literally means I picked up my coffee. I picked up my water. I picked up the ball. So in this case, she's talking about basketball. So she literally picked up the ball. She picked up the ball. She picked up the basketball. And I fell in love with it. So I picked up. So we got linking right here. Let's talk about the linking here. I picked up. So the word, this is interesting, guys, because this word alone is picked with a T sound. However, if we're going to link this, it goes back to a D sound. So picked up. We don't say picked up. Some people might. Almost always, though, we say picked up, picked up with a D, with a D. So I picked the ball. The, 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 don't leave out that TH. I picked up the ball. I picked up the ball. And I, the D is gone. And I fell in. And I fell in love with it. A lot of people had a problem here. And I fell in love with it. Fell in love with it. This V actually links into the W. So we get love with it. Linking, linking, linking. I picked up the ball, 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 and I fell in love with it. 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 And I would study it. And I would study it. Oh, yeah. So this sentence killed you. Some of you got it. Some of you did a good job. And one person gave me a great answer as to why she said I would study it. So look here. This is simple past. I picked up the ball. Simple past. I fell in love. Simple past. And then she changes to, and I would study it. Okay? So simple past would be, and I studied it. Right? But she did not say, I studied it. It. She said, I would study it. And I asked you why. Why? Motamshi. Shama. Nandeska. That's that's not right. Anyway. Uh, why? Pourquoi? Uh, French. Why? Why did she say would? What's the dealio? What's going on here? Um, and here are the answers. Look at these sentences. Just look. I went to the park, simple past. I would go to the park. I cooked dinner. I would cook dinner. I studied English. I would study English. What's the difference? Obviously, this is simple past. We understand not a big dealio, not a big problem, right? I would go to the park means a long time ago, I went to the park Frequently, sometimes, occasionally, when I could, in the summer, with my mom, with my dog, to exercise. When we say would, it implies more than once. I went to the park, can be one time. It can be a thousand times. We don't know. There's no nuance. There's no nuance. I went to the park. I went to the park. Could be every day. Uh, could be once. We don't know. In the context of the story, we might know. 
Oh, when I was a kid, I went to the park. I'm sure it was more than once. But if I said, oh, when I was a kid, I would go to the park. Now, definitely, absolutely, it gives the nuance of more than once. It was It wasn't just going to the park. It was something special. There's something special about it. So I would go to the park. I would go to the park and, and, and something. I cooked dinner. No problem. I would cook dinner. I would cook dinner frequently. I put here from time to time, occasionally, frequently, every summer, when I could, more than once. We don't really necessarily know the adverb. We don't know the level of frequency, but there is definitely a nuance of more than once, and it's special. I studied English when I was a kid. I would study English when I was a kid. Okay, so this is going to be easier to understand. So many of you, I'm guessing when you were a kid, and you studied English in school, you hated it. Ugh. But some of you, and maybe you, loved it. And when you had a chance, you would go deeper by yourself. For example, maybe you would take a song and look at the lyrics and try to translate the lyrics and check the dictionaries and listen to the, and really love it, right? That is a a specific occasion I would study English with songs. Very special. This is the nuance of adding would. We can simply say I studied English, right? But when we add would study, and when we change the verb to would study, it's the same nuance, but an addition of frequently, occasionally, sometimes, and also a level of specialness. So let's go back to her sentence. When I was younger, I picked up the ball and I fell in love with it. Ah, oh, the basketball. Yeah, man, the basketball. I love this ball. And I would study it. Hmm. If I bounce it like this, if I bounce it like this, if I if I spin it like this, if I spin it like that, if I shoot like this, if I shoot like that, I would study it. I would really analyze I would get really specific. I would get really deep. I didn't just study it. I would study it. Special, deep power. That's the idea. Uh, When I was younger, when I was single, I I prayed. When I was single, I would pray. When I I was younger, I prayed. Dear God, please... uh, you know, help me, thank you, whatever. When I was younger, I would pray. Dear God. Oh, uh, much deeper. It has that, seriously, it has that deep feeling to it. All right? So I'm guessing, <laughs> I'm guessing for a lot of you, this might be the case. Uh, when you were younger, you studied English. But now, you're studying English. See, in the present tense, we can't use wood. This is only, oh, we can only use it in the past, in this situation, okay? Uh, I'm guessing a lot of you uh, didn't really. Me too, don't worry. Uh, Yeah, there are many subjects, science, history. I love history. When I was in school, I studied history, blah, 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 blah. But later, in my 30s, oh, I would study history. I would read tons of books and think about it, and analyze it, and listen to podcasts, and talk to people much deeper. This is the beauty of adding the word would to a simple past tense sentence. All right? Does that make sense? And this is something you can learn in DDM, which you should be joining, especially if you're watching this in June of 2021. Right now, for me, it's June 24th, yes, June 24th, 11.07 p.m. Uh, We have our Super Summer Spectacular Sale right now. You can join DDM at at least a 25% discount, and it is such an excellent class. You need to join. Uh, Monthly, it's a 25% discount. 
Uh, quarterly, it's even more. Yearly, it's even more. And we have something called LME 365. Tremendous class. And I think it's on sale for $25 a month. You will never find a, a class so excellent as LME 365 for that price with live classes, with live classes, DDM2, Perf2, everything has live classes. And, and some students say, oh, but I live in Germany. I live in Moscow. I'm in India. I'm in Beijing. I'm in Japan. I'm in Los Angeles. I'm in New York. I'm in Rio de Janeiro. I don't care. We have classes all around the clock, all around the clock. Teachers all around the world ready to help you. All you need to do, what I recommend, is join one live class a week and you'll be good. Take our lessons, go to the live class and practice and ask questions and you'll be golden. And I have AMA classes. I have all VIP classes for DDM and Perf. Join me. I want to talk to you. I want to help you master English, whether it's pronunciation, understanding, building confidence, uh, listening skills, nuance like this. I would study it. I want you to would study with me. That doesn't make sense, but you understand, I think. Thank you very much, guys. Have a fantastic day. And join me. Together, let's master English.